Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating the field structure of a table and labeling its fields within the header row, you can then enter your first table record. A record is all of the information determined by the table's fields in the header row that pertains to a single entry. Using the example of a customer's table, a record is all the information about a customer. You enter the first record into a table immediately underneath the header row. Use the tab key on your keyboard to move between cells within a row. And also move to the next new row after entering a record to automatically add a new row to the table where you can then enter your next record. Each piece of information recorded should match the corresponding field into which you enter it. For example, if you have a customer table with the fields title, first name, and last name, and a customer named Mrs. Jane Smith, then her record would look like Mrs. in one field, Jane in the next, and Smith in the next field within the table. Additional records are always added to the next row in the table, never entirely skipping a row. After creating a table and entering its records, you can edit the information in the cells just as you would in a normal worksheet. Just select the cell that contains the information to edit and then change it. Use the tab key to exit and move to the next cell in the table when finished with data entry. Just as when entering records, you can also format any records or information as desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.